What's up, A family? It's the Common Sense Investor. At first, I'd like to say thank you to all the people that watched the first part of the video. Uh, what was the purpose of the pattern, which is to bring the MOAS. Now, <clears throat> what I want to talk about is what is the purpose of the MOAS? Well, first off, they're, they passed a new rule, or they have are trying to institute the new rule. It hasn't been approved yet, according to Papillon, which I watched his video today. I was under the impression that NSCC 2021-10 was already in effect, but he brought to light that it hasn't been passed yet, that it's still sitting there in the registry. Here's the end game, people. We talked about the pattern and how the pattern's purpose is to dip down, and we've been conditioned to buy the dip, and then once it goes and rips up, then we're conditioned that, that FOMO would kick in. And what this does is it puts the hedge funds deeper and deeper and deeper in debt. Now, a couple of people ask about Kenny and the uh, and the computer. Why would they run a program that would cause them to go bankrupt? And I, I told that person they missed the point of, of the video. Kenny and them are not in control of this program. Someone else is. I call them the Voltron Fund because... Uh, Thomas James nicknamed him that, and he didn't realize what he was talking about at the time. But now is the time to bring forth the truth. So here it is. This is the end game. Right here, we have the United States government, okay? And the hedge funds and the banks control all the shares of Microsoft, Apple, Walmart, Disney, Coke, and Starbucks, and so forth and so on. Now, what's going to happen is, in accordance to NSCC 2021-010, if the hedge fund or the banks get too over leveraged, then they have established basically what is known as a pawn shop. It's going to be a clearinghouse, sort of. They will give... For example, we'll, we'll use Citadel because everybody knows Citadel. Let's say this is Citadel right here. And they're only one of many. But now Citadel is in the hole. And it's time for the chickens to come home to roost. They are out of money because of the MOAS. And they need help. The government, as everyone is accustomed to, bails them out because they're big banks. And uh, this time, it's going to be a little bit different. They're not going to just give them money to bail them out and to pay us the money they owe us for AMC, GME, and the other meme, meme stocks. What's going to happen is they're going to make, they've already made deals. They will take their Microsoft and they will park Microsoft over here in the government clearinghouse. And the government will give them the money they need to pay us. And when they are still in debt, they have to give them the Apple shares over here in the government, i.e. pawn shop. And well, how this is working is, when they give them the Microsoft, they will get money to pay us. They will also get a slip of paper that says, you owe this much interest. And if at any time, you don't pay the interest on that loan, then they keep the Microsoft. They keep the Apple. And over here, this company, they have Walmart, and they're in debt now because of the MOAS, and they have to give their Walmart shares to the government, and the government gives them money to pay us, and everybody's happy over here. Except for now, Walmart is over here in the deep... Uh, government clearing house. Then this one gives them Disney, and this one gives them Coke, and this one gives them Starbucks. And the whole thing is to get all of the shares from all of these companies into this clearing house that the government is setting up. In return, again, they get money to pay us. Now they also get the interest that says you owe us this much interest until you can afford to take your Microsoft, pay us, and you can have your Microsoft back. You can have your Apple back. 
You can have your Walmart back. You can have your Disney back. As long as you get the funds necessary, you can have your shares back. All right? But they've set it up to where this is not going to be possible. Once the shares are over here in the government's clearinghouse, i.e. pawn shop, and these companies have to pay the interest. If at any time they do not meet that interest payment, the government now owns Starbucks, Microsoft, Apple, Walmart, Disney, Coke, and every other stock that these companies have to park here for money to pay us for the MOAS. See, it's, it's very simple to understand if you can see the bigger picture here. These hedge funds, they are not running the program. The government is running the program that's causing the rips and the dips and incite us to buy. Why? Because it puts these people deeper in debt. These people are in debt because they are also fighting the machine. It, it, God, it was so fun to watch it the other day. Let me see if I can back it up and show y'all an example. Yeah, there it is. You see this right here? This was the day before yesterday. See these big candles? That's 50 cent candles. If you stretch it up to where it's like 20 cents and shit. You see these big wicks? You see how this day they had all these big wicks? That was because the two computers, there's two computers at work here now. One's trying to push it up, and the other computer battles it. One pushes, the comp pushes it down, and the other computer fights it and pushes it back up. This went on day before yesterday for a few days, till eventually one pattern won. Or excuse me, one computer program won. Then this happened, and we all got excited. But the point is, when you come back, everybody that bought shit, asshole, everybody that bought shares on this rip down put these people further in debt. These people being further in debt means they have to give up more Apple, more Microsoft, more Starbucks, everything, until all the shares are in the government clearinghouse. Now, like I said, if they pay their interest and they can afford to get the Apple back, it goes back to them. But here's the thing, when they pass NSCC 2021, they also passed a new rule, if you remember, on fines. And this is what I talked about in another video, where fines are not our friends. These people being fined for illegal activity or whatever the case may be, they lose the capital that's over here that was going to get their apple back. All right? So instead of being able to take their money and get their apple back, they're being fined. They're going to be fined by the government, and the money's going to come over here, and the apple stays where it's at. So in essence, the purpose of the MOAS is to get all of the shares into the government clearinghouse, find them so much to where they can't afford to get their apple back, and they forfeit the loan. And now the government owns Apple, Microsoft, Starbucks, Coke, Disney, Walmart, everything. Every fucking thing. Now you might say, what's the purpose of that then? The purpose of the government taking all the shares from all the hedge funds and banks and putting them right here, and then now they own them. They own these companies. And if you're watching your news, then you will notice that some businesses are, are filing a lawsuit against the state that says you cannot enforce the ouchie in my business. Let me say that again. You cannot enforce the ouchie in a private business such as Walmart. You can request people wear masks. You can request people have the ouchie that work for you, but you cannot mandate it. However, Unless you own the controlling shares of that company, now you can mandate whatever you want to go on at Starbucks, Coke, Disney, Walmart. Because you Walmart, for example. Once they have control of Walmart, they can mandate whatever they want. You cannot work at Walmart without the ouchie. You cannot work, go shop there, sit in their parking lot, nothing. 
Why? Because they own Walmart and they insist that the ouchie is mandated for their company. Well, can they do that? Yes, they own the company now. When these people give up their shares and put it into the clearinghouse and these companies lose the shares because they can't afford the payment, Government can then mandate whatever. They can mandate that people wear blue hats with pink feathers in it. You have to do it if you're going to work at Walmart, or if you're going to shop at Walmart, or if you're going to go to Disney, or if you're going to work at Coca-Cola, or if you're going to work at Starbucks, or if you're going to buy coffee from Starbucks. You can't walk into the business unless you have the ouchie. So, the purpose of the pattern is to bring the Moas. The purpose of the MOAS is to get the shares from the hedge funds and banks. Once the hedge funds and banks give them their shares, they're going to end up being forfeited because they're going to be fined, such astronomical fines. Remember, it's up to 100% of whatever the, uh, I don't want to say crime, but whatever regulation they violated and they're being fined for. They're going to lose all of their Apple, Microsoft, Starbucks, everything. And everything's going to be centered into the government. And the government will own every share of every company in America. It's coming, people. That's been the purpose all along. Is to, if you work it backwards, if you work it backwards, you can figure it out. There's the government. They need the shares. Put the brokerages in the hole. That's why they've let it drag on for such a long time. They let it drag on so that these people can get further and further in the debt and owe more shares of the companies that they have in their portfolio. That is the purpose of the MOAS. Now, that ought to scare you because it's a scary thing when the government controls every fucking business in America. Oh, let's see. Right here. I did it here. In the end game. Once these companies are what, what one YouTuber likes to call vanquished, they will own everything. The government will own everything. And that is the end game of the MOAS. That's why they've let it drag on. That's why they let it get in the hole. That's why they let the hole get deeper. Because they want every share of every company in America. So that they can control it. And that's it. It's 12 minutes going on 13 minutes. I'm sorry. But that is the explanation of what is going on. What's the purpose of the pattern? The MOAS. What's the purpose of the MOAS? To get the shares. To get the shares over to the clearinghouse. That the government's setting up. But it hasn't been approved yet. That's what's stalling the MOAS. Is that this has not been approved yet. And I hope this makes sense to you. Because this is a very, very, very dangerous time in our country and in the world. If we allow this to happen. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all in another video.